Most nice handsome. It's an ivory satin draped bodice with a broad yoke and a gold skirt trimmed with the lilies of the valley. I'd prefer a train, they're so regal. The seamstress could make the additions. Hmm. Truly, Mina, one should at least pretend to derive pleasure from the planning of one's own wedding, only for appearance's sake. I do. It's just... I think I'm being deceived. By whom? Professor Van Helsing. What would he gain from lying to you? I don't know. I suppose I haven't been a beacon of honesty myself. The substance that I've been working with has some astounding properties, characteristics that could revolutionize medicine. Why would anybody want to conceal such an incredible discovery? Perhaps he doesn't want to, but that he feels that he should. Speaking of such notions as taboo. I'm sorry. <laughs> All this talk of science and research and cures. You must find all intolerably dull. Not when you're speaking of it. <laughs> you're kind to humor me. It's not kindness, Mina, but love. I love you, Mina. And by you. My dear friends, we're sisters, even. We could be so much more. It's a natural part of our maturation. I broke things off with Alistair, did I tell you? Mother begged to know the reason she would have flogged it out of me if she could, but I couldn't tell her. Wouldn't tell her. The reason I did it was you. I've always loved you, Mina. You see, I didn't realize it till now, but I now know that I always have. So, every time that we've danced and dressed and cried and slept together, is that why you undermine Jonathan? Not to protect me, but for your own gain. No, Mina, it's not. Has right. our whole friendship been a pretense? Of course not. You need to leave. I mean, please, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs>